Hello guys, I'm Aziz Khwadri. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you the new FTS17 patch. And this is an absolutely incredible patch, guys. It is uh, created by Spanish people. And uh, initially, when you download this patch, uh, you will have uh, it in Spanish language. So before getting into anything else, uh, you're just going to change the language real quick. I've changed the language and it's in English now, but its default language is going to be Spanish. And a few team names as well would be in Spanish, such as Germany. Germany will not be Germany, it will be Almania. But a good thing about FTS 17 is that it's similar to FIFA 17, and the layout of the menu and all that. And uh, it is uh, something which is also very, very good it has the 2016 17 data and all the imported custom kits and logos so as i said it's gonna be a great great patch for you to install i'm gonna do a video tutorial on how to install it in my next video uh, i'll do it probably in about a week or so so stay tuned for that so we have fts 15 here and this is how the menu looks like i'm currently doing the liverpool career mode in fts 17 and they are a five star rated team now but now you're gonna go to customize and i'm gonna show you all the teams we have the premier league latest 2016-17 logo and all the teams as well in there arsenal arsenal five star rated bournemouth burnley recently promoted chelsea crystal palace everton hall and very surprised to see Everton as a four and a half star rated team. This is something which needs to be fixed. Leicester, four and a half star. But Liverpool is just shocking. How can Liverpool be a four star rated team, guys? It's just absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, getting into Arsenal. We have Petr Cech in goal. His rating has increased to 88 from like 84, I think, back there in FTS 15. We have Hector Bellerin. We have Santi Cazola. Mesut Ozil's rating has definitely increased from 84 to 89. Sanchez has increased as well to 87. So basically the ratings are very similar to FTS uh, 15. Sorry, what the hell? To FIFA 17, I should say. Theo Walcott is 84 rated. He's having a great season. So it's very similar. Then we have Chelsea. See, Courtois' waiting has in, has uh, stayed the same. David Luiz has joined Chelsea recently from Paris Saint Germain. So that's the new team data. And Golo Conte joined Chelsea from uh, Leicester City. Eden Hazard ratings has increased. Diego Costa he has increased as well. Fabregas stays the same. Pedro. It's there as well, so yeah, it's a great patch. And then we move on to Manchester United. Uh oh, shut. And then we have David De Gea. His rating has increased from 87 to 90. And we have Paul Pogba there, the new signing for 89 million, a record breaking transfer. Then we have Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 91 rated, best player in the team. We have Wayne Rooney. Still maintaining that rating of 87. We have Juan Mata, 84 rated player. So as I said, we, Manchester United have a very, very strong squad. One of the Premier League contenders. Manchester City, we have Bravo, 85 rated. Companies are still 86 rated. Then we have David Silva, 88 rated De Bruyne. Yaya Torre, Jesus Navas, Sergio Aguero. So. As I was saying, Manchester City's players as well have got a, a nice update in their rating. And there is the new ball as well for this. I'm going to show you real quick. Fernandinho there, St Raheem Sterling, Kalechi Ihanacho, Otamendi, Delph, Gundogan. And I'm going to show you uh, Tottenham Hotspur. And there have got 88 rated Loris Singo, Sarko. But look at Harry Kane, he's 87 rated. And I really don't have any idea about why he's playing in the midfield 87 rated player in my opinion slightly overrated 85 would have been much much uh, better and suitable for him but 87 is what he gets 
the uh, Tottenham Hotspur are five-star rated team. Liverpool have been shocked with their rating. How can they be a four-star rated team? And look how underrated Emery Chan, Nathaniel Klein, Loris Karius, Jordan Henderson are. Anyways, let's get into some uh, La Liga Santander action. We have uh, Atletico Madrid to start with, five-star rated. Yano Black in goal, Felipe Luis, 84 rated, both all black are 88, but look at his keeping, 92, 93 handling, 94 presence, 92 shot stopping. We have Diego Gardin, another absolute beast of a defender. He was 84 rated, Antoine Griezmann, the best player in the team by a big, big mile. Number 7 for Atletico Madrid, 100 heading. It's ridiculous, but he's a great player. Certainly a very young player. And then we have uh, FC Barcelona, 83-rated Testegen. Jasper Silesen is higher rated than Testegen. Luis Suarez, 92-rated Messi, 95. Neymar, 92. Iniesta, 88. Busquets, Rakitic, 87, respectively. So as I was saying, that uh, all the player ratings, the player likenesses, and the balls have been updated. There is a new Nike Autumn ball in this. So yeah. And now we have a look at uh, Real Madrid, of course. Keylor Navas is now an 84 rated player. Marcelo is 86. Sergio Ramos is 89. Pepe is 88. These are very similar to their FIFA ratings. Kroos is 88. Rodriguez is 88. Isco is 86. Modric is 89. And a uh, Ronaldo is a 95, Bale 91, Benzema right here is 87. And uh, now we move on to Serie A. We have AC Milan for and a half star rated. And we have Gianluigi Donnarumma 81, Abate, Felipe Maxis, Alex. I really don't know why they still have these players in the team to be honest. They have left Milan a long time ago. So that is something which this path is a bit, a bit glitchy and we have uh, Montalivo, Poly, Honda, M Menez, I still don't know why he's still there, it's just ridiculous and then we have uh, Inter, Handanovic has got an upgrade, 86 rated now, huge upgrade, Ja Mario, Marcelo Brozovic, I Ivan Perisic, Kondogbia, Icardi, Edda, and we have Juventus. And look at the ratings right here. Buffon is an 88 from 83. Alexandro has improved to an 83. Chiellini, 88. Benucci, 87. Alves, 85. By far one of the best defenses ever. Higuain is 88 as well. So Juventus are a pretty good team. Then we have Paolo Dybala. So Juventus are surely one of the strongest teams. Serie A and also in the world. We have Liga. But look at Paris Saint Germain in Liga right here. Okay, Kevin Trapp stayed at 83. Ben Arfa is an 84. Julian Draxler, the new signing, is now an 84 rated player. Hatem Ben Arfa. And look at that for some stats 89 ball control, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. And we have uh, Thiago Silva, 89 rated player. He's pretty realistic and spot on to his FIFA rating. And we have Matuidi, Verratti, Cavani, Motta, and I really don't have any idea about why Krzysztof is playing striker. It should be Di Maria. I really don't know why he's on the bench either. And then we have uh, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. Uh oh, shit. So take a look at Bayern Munich right here. And look at their ratings. Just absolutely horrendous. Manuel Lawyer 92. David Alaba 88, Mavs Hummels 87, Jerome Bovateng 90, Alafina 80, the lowest rated player. We have Frank Ribéry 88, Thomas Muller 87. I have no idea about why Lewandowski is playing in the midfield. 90 rated though, Lam 88, Robin 87, Vidal 87. That's ridiculous. And we have Borussia Dortmund. And as I said, a lot of players have got an upgrade in their rating in this patch. We have Weidenfeller, we have Derm, we have Matthias Ginter, Nevin Subotic is still there at Dortmund, really don't know why. Fal Guerrero, 
and we have uh, Marco Royce, 88 rated. Look at this. He was 84 rated back there, but now he's 88. Shinji Kagawa, Mario Goza, Sven Bender, Sebastian Rode, and P.A. Emmerich Ubermia. Moving on now, we have Usmani Dembele as well, right here. And we have Socrates. So yeah, all these players, Emre Moore, Julian Wilde, Marcel Schmelzer. So yeah, Borussia Dortmund are, as well are a very strong team. And now moving on to these other leagues, we have Eredivisie from uh, Netherlands, the Dutch League, Liga Norsch, the Portuguese League, Liga MS, MX, Ecuadorian League. Unfortunately for you MX fans, MLS is not there. Then Liga Asiatica, perhaps the J League, rest of Europe, rest rest of America, and all that. And I'm gonna show you some uh, sort of gameplay real quick. I mean, if I play a game, then this will lack seriously. So we're gonna get into some training, and we'll do it with Barcelona. I'm gonna show you the ad boats and all that right here. Okay. Done, done. Look at the Barcelona kit. The only disappointment I find out about Barcelona kit is that uh, they don't have the Qatar Airways sponsor, but still, it's much better than having that piece of default crap. Oh. So you can see the new ad boards there in the background right here. You can see the new grass pattern and all that. Stuff like that. So it's a very, very good patch, guys, to install. And as I said, I will do a tutorial on how to install it in uh, my upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it now, but I'm probably going to look forward to do it in the coming weeks. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And as I said, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stay tuned to my channel for more of this stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe.